once you're satisfied with what the products look like and you made all your comments and everything is um, up to your liking, you can decide to purchase your products at wholesale price, which is the artist price. Um, you can select them and um, click on purchase at artist price. The artist price will basically be the best price you could get for your products. Um, being the artist, you can benefit from all the volume discounts, um, which we're going to talk about a little further. Um, the first thing would be to verify your billing, shipping address, all of your buyer information. Um, one detail to check is here the order number. That's a pretty uh, important number. If you have any questions related to an order, it can be an open order, an order that you've already placed. Um, it's very useful to use it when communicating with customer service. Um, it would allow us very easily to detect if there's any uh, issues with your order or anything. Um, please use that number as much as you can. And then if you have any questions, you can contact this email address. Um, and this would be your billing and shipping address. Uh, you can edit it by clicking on the notepad icon. And the shipping type would be here, uh, 10 business days, um, which is our usual production time. And if you want, you can also ship to a later date. Let's say you have an event in a couple of months, but you just want to place the order. Uh, you can also click on this option and it will allow you to um, mark a, a later date that you want your order to be shipped. And here is the status of your order. Open order means it's simply in your bag. Um, and you can also see the other statuses for your order. So once you've added all of your products that you want to purchase, uh, you can start adding your units. Uh, let's say for the Sophia dress, the uh, highest wholesale price that you're going to be paying would be 92. That's if you're purchasing basically just one or even um, even two units. That's still considerably um, lower than the retail price, but uh, you can really go lower if you purchase um, a few more units. So let's say now I'm ordering three units. You can see that the price dropped to 76 and 51. Um, here at top, you can see that it will tell you how many units you should uh, need to add for the price to drop even lower. Uh, so that's pretty useful if you're planning your orders to really take all of your client's orders and place them at once to benefit from the best um, possible discount. Um, and then you can make basically more profit on your orders. If you don't wish to keep an item on your order, you can decide to um, delete it by clicking on the little square here and um, clicking on remove at the top gray bar. If you don't wish to keep your order altogether, you can also just delete it here uh, clicking on the trash can. It's going to ask you to confirm that you want to do that because sometimes if you plan a pretty big order, it can be uh, pretty disappointing to delete it all at once. So make sure you really want to delete the whole order and not just one item. And then um, you can add your quantities for each unit, uh, for each uh, size, basically. Let's say here I want to add um, two. Um, here I want to add one. Here I, I want to add six. And once again, you can see the price difference. Here it's the same item. Um, but one, I'm going to be paying $24.92, and the other one, because I'm ordering six units, I'm going to be paying uh, $16.94. And then another one here. And if you have a promo code, um, you can add it here, add, add promo code, and um, you can just enter it and apply. And then you can see your total, um, your discount if you apply the promo code, um, and the order total. And just simply click on place order. Um, if there's a gift, you can also add a personal note. Right now, I'm not going to add a personal note. And then you'll be directed to the um, paying page. So that's it. That's how you place a wholesale order.